Hey guys, it's Maggie Lindemann, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. Maggie Lindemann, thank you so much for being with us on Celeb Secrets today. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Are you excited about um, Scissor Hands? Because it came out, what, October 8th? Yeah, the 9th. 9th. The days are all jumbled. No, October 9th. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited about it. I mean, I feel like I've had this song ready for so long, and I've, like, previewed it on my Instagram so long ago. It feels like, like a couple months ago. So it's finally out, and it's just, like, feels surreal. And it's off of Paranoia. She's out in January, and it's your first EP, which is wild to me because I feel like I've known your name and your music for so long, and I'm like, no, there's no way. Like, she has a project out. But this is, like, your first, like, actual body of work that you're putting out. Yeah, I know. It's really crazy. I used to hate it because I was like, oh, my God, I need to do an EP. I need to do an album or something. But I'm glad that I didn't because I feel like I finally have found my sound and now I'm finally like putting something out that I'm like so hype about and like proud of. So I know it is crazy though. I feel like I've been doing this for so long. So it's like weird. <laughs> well, that was something I I'm, like wanted to kind of start the interview with was asking you about your evolution as an artist. Cause you've been around since 2015 putting music out and kind of evolved from what was seemingly like pop to now um, with Paranoia, something that's more alternative rock sounding. I just kind of want to talk about that evolution and I know music is super personal, so it's probably had a lot to do with growing up and like you said, finding your sound. But what was that entire process like for you? Um, yeah, I mean, when I first started making music, I wanted to make alternative. Like I loved alternative music, you know, being so young and like having a certain look and all this stuff. I feel like I was a little bit, I don't know, not not forced to do pop, but it was just what made sense. Um, so I started doing pop music and I liked it for a while, but it just never felt like me. Like I always felt like I, like who I was in my music and then who I was in my personal life was very very different like there was a huge detachment and um I don't know just over the course of the last couple of years I feel like I've just been finding myself and like growing up and when I first started making music I was like 16 and I'm 22 now so it's been it's been a while and I don't know like just as you grow up in life like I've grown up in music and I right. Now I feel like I finally found something that I actually like just love. So with the rest yeah. of Paranoia, what can we expect? Because obviously like when you go on Apple Music, you can see like all the titles and the tra like, track list, but you know, there's only so much you can infer from a title. Um, is there anything like you'd be willing to, you know, share with fans and viewers on what they can expect from the rest of the EP? I mean, it's all like, rock alternative pop leaning um i think there's only like one song on there that sounds a little bit poppy and that's just like a stripped down ballad um like it's like only guitar and my voice mm -hmm. um but i don't know it's like all over the place it's a lot of different emotions lots of different things going on and it's all stuff that's like surrounding my life like it's actually stuff that i've been through or like i'm currently going through um so i don't know it's always cool too when i like say stuff like this and then like stuff i'm going through and then people like try to connect the dots and like make what they think every song's gonna be about i don't know that's sick but i feel like I don't know, it's just like all over the place. It's literally so many different emotions. Was there any particular song off the record that you enjoyed making the most or are the most excited for um, fans to hear? I enjoyed making all of them. I think Gaslight was probably the funnest to make just because I made that with my friend um, and that was just like a really fun session. Yeah. But I would say like Crash and Burn and It's Not Your Fault are the most, are the songs I'm most excited about that people haven't heard yet. Okay. Uh, I don't know, those songs are like, just really close to me. For this EP, did you have any artist, band that you were listening to to pull inspiration from? Oh yeah, there's so many. I mean, <laughs> there's so many different ones for each song, but like my biggest ones are definitely like Paramore, um, Evanescence, Avril Lavigne, uh, Bring Me The Horizon, uh, Gwen Stefani. There's so many. I found this super interesting just since 
reading about you and your journey as an artist was that Pretty Girl was your fourth single. I believe that that was only your fourth single in for how much it popped. Like Spotify alone has over 700 million streams, which is yeah. absolutely insane. Um, but I can imagine with like the excitement also being like a lot of pressure. Um, can you kind of speak to that, like the positives and negatives, like not only as an artist, but as just like a human? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing was like, people putting me in a different category than I was in like obviously when a song pops off and like you're doing all the stuff you have it's like high demand for certain stuff right. and I feel like I was so unprepared like I didn't know what I was doing at all mm -hmm. um, like obviously I knew I just loved making music and I wanted to make music but like I had never went and performed like on a big stage in front of thousands of people like I'd never done anything like that um and i got pushed out to do that stuff really quick with like no practice no preparation or anything and i feel like looking back on it i could have done a way better job than i was doing but like under the circumstances like it's understandable um and then another thing was just like the cat being put in a category that i'm not because like i'm a small artist like i'm still growing but then having like a song that popped off so much it's like then after that people expected me to like keep that up right. and it's like it's like i'm i was still a small artist like i still am a small artist like i'm not a 700 million <laughs> stream stream every song artist like i'm just not and it's i think that that pressure was like a lot for a while our outlet being called celeb secrets um i can't let you go without getting a secret it's like an ongoing joke because i don't have my license um but i finally got my permit <laughs> and i actually went to take my uh driving test today to get my license and i failed so <laughs> no way yeah so i'm going back like, for your actual driving test. no like my my driving test wait what happened was it just it was so stupid the guy was just being so hard on me he he like told me to turn like really really quick like I just turned it a light and it was like a quick turn so I turned and I was going kind of fast and he like slammed on my brakes and I had an automatic fail no but it's slamming on the brakes yeah because he said I was going around the corner too fast and then I could go onto the sidewalk I was like dude I'm not about to drive onto the no. sidewalk right now there's no way